Hello, Next Community. I wanted to show you some projects I'm working on today. Days like today are fun for me. It's a good Friday indeed. So, um, testing system. I want to see if it's recognizing the RAM. Yes. And hopefully it's going to boot this time. Come on. Fire up. Oh, that's good. Before it was uh, panicking. And we've got the one gig fireball. And this is a turbo color. Now the catch with this one, it's been a little finicky. I got the RAM to play. And it shows that the RAM was uh, $337 per stick. So when this thing was... Uh, I mean, that's a fairly significant bump if you take that times four back in the day. Reboot complete. Well, that's good news, too. And yeah, let's see if we can uh, log in. I don't think there's anything too special on this. Well, that's a big bonus. Um... It does appear, appear to be a little bit snappier. And let's go ahead and open up that uh, panel, info panel. Okay. And it shows 33 megahertz, 128. You guys will see what's going on here in just a second. Uh, looks like they must have done a clean install on this. Going to go to Unix Expert Preferences. And set large file, Unix Expert. That'll let me go to USR ADM Messages. User Admin Messages. I want to take a look at that boot script and see if anything differs for this particular system. So what this does is it gives you an entire history of every time your system boots. And in particular, we're looking for uh, unusual drivers. I'm not seeing anything. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, so the reason why I'm doing this is, let's see if we can get a little bit more light on here, um, is this is the world's fastest turbo color, and it runs at 50 megahertz, and they built this little uh, card here. I'm not sure if it'll let me zoom in while I'm filming here. Let me see if I can get better light, possibly. Um, I also noticed they have, I like the idea of the fan on the processor, and then they created a little, little f a splitter, so you've got the case fan, that looks like a nice fan, as well as a cooling fan for the processor. I'm hesitant to unclip that and take a look if it is a 50 megahertz processor, but I, I, I may do that, I just need to figure out how this thing unclips. Brian or Dave out there, you might have uh, some advice on that. Um, I'm tempted to send this to you guys so you can figure out what this little uh, custom PCB is. If I could get it to actually focus, we could maybe get the chip ID, get a little bit better idea what what's going on here, what they did. I'll kind of scan over the board to see if there's any other custom chips. I would think that in order to get it to run a little faster, they may have had to replace some other chips on the board. Um, and if I could get this thing to focus a little better. Okay. In addition to that, I wanted to show you... Um, Jill's, I have 
your dimension board back with the new caps, right? And the turbo cube board back. Matt does a great job with these caps. You can see the blue Austrian caps there. A really good quality cap. So, I mean, it doesn't get much better than that having a turbo cube dimension and the world's fastest turbo color here today at the black hole on a good friday um stay tuned tristan um, your color system's coming up next as well and there you have it stay tuned